Hello everyone, welcome to my new channel. I am the anonymous reseller. I do this part time. Uh, I tend to focus on sport items, mainly golf clubs as you can see all these different golfing items. There's some things here that are actually mine because I like to play golf. I'm not an amazing golfer but I like to try and think so. Uh, I do focus on golfing things but I do also sell games consoles and different things like that, especially Game Boys. Uh, at the minute, in lockdown, they're selling really really well but I do tend to focus on these I do keep looking for Game Boys and, and Xboxes but I don't really want to spend time doing all that I focus on golf clubs because I know I'm confident on selling these I know what certain brands to go for I know what's a good price I know what's a, you know too expensive etc etc and I know the market quite well through eBay so I do all my selling on eBay uh, I tend to look on uh, Facebook Marketplace, Gumtree and Spock to get all this stock in uh, I'll show you all the different things I've got uh, in another video, uh, I'll do a little side video to this, so I'll be having the same clothes on just to give you a quick overview. I might actually do it during this little picking video. Yeah, I'll just do that. I'll do it as I go. Uh, so I've got a picking video. Uh, I've got six items to pick. Uh, I'll also do a little side video at the end of this, maybe if I've got time. I don't want to spend too long talking. I don't really want to go over 15 minutes because you'll get bored. Uh, oh, well, hopefully not, but you never know. Um, just to show you some things that have sold over the last couple of weeks since we've eased our lockdown in the UK and a lot more people are starting to play golf. So, a few things here uh, are mine, but most everything is ready to sell. So let's get picking. First thing we've got, uh, we've got a Ping Golf Stand bag, £30. Buyer has paid £6.99 postage. I tend to send my stuff with uh, Hermes, it tends to get there. I've had a couple of little incidents, but I've got my money back and that's rare. Here it is. Ignore all the other stuff uh, as well. It's my parents' house and they have a lot of stuff in here that they're going to sort out next year, hopefully. Uh, hopefully my partner and I will move out uh, when our house is complete in the next couple of weeks, which I can't wait. I need to get rid of all this as much as possible because I'm apparently not allowed to bring stuff with me. So, this is the bag of salt. Ping, 400 bag. Very nice condition. A few little marks, but you'd expect that. You can see it's nice and clean on there. Really solid. Good legs on it. Nice and straight. Nothing too damaged on it. Really, really good. I actually got this off Spock. I bought it off a woman. She had this for sale. Inside there was a set of irons which I've sold as well. I'll be picking those in a minute. I'm just waiting for payment on those. Uh, I got a wood, uh, a Mizuna wood, which is actually going to be picked as well because I've sold that. And a tailor-made driver which I've sold. I'll put that on screen now. You can see how much I sold it for. I sold it for £100 which was amazing. All I saw on the picture was just the outline of the head cover, so I knew it was a tailor-made club. I didn't know what model it was. I took a punt on it for £20. She had it on for 30 for the whole lot. I offered her 20 she accepted it. It was round the corner, I went to pick it up. But this bag here, I sold for 30 pounds. Oh, big fly flying around here. Uh, I sold for 30 pounds on its own, and the buyer has paid 6 99 for shipping. So next, let's have a look at what we've got. We've got a Ping G10 3 wood. Uh, that sold for £35.01 because I sent an offer out and four nine on delivery. The three wood, I actually bought a three wood and a five wood together, £40 for the pair. I've sold both of them. Uh, I'll give you a bit of a backstory to that uh, once I get the five wood as well. Here you go, a bit of a tatty head cover but it does the job. Really nice ping G10, three wood, 15.5 degree. Ping is a very good brand to get. Not necessarily the best, but they're very affordable and that's why they sell quite quick, because people want them. But there's a Ping 3 wood. I'll put that in my bag. Next, we've got McGregor V-Foil Tawny, uh, Tawny VIP Irons for the Pitching Wedge. Sold these for £65.01 and one pence, an 8 9 delivery. Oh, I sent an offer on that as well. I've had these for a while. I actually got these a long time ago for a lovely elderly lady who sadly she said her husband passed away. Um, and you know I told her that I was buying it for the driver that was there uh, and not necessarily the irons but she wasn't bothered she just she wanted them out um, she just wanted to you know get on with things clearing which is very nice um, for her to try and move on obviously it's devastating for the fact that she's lost someone but hey hope they're gonna go to a nice new home which is fantastic so here they are they are blades you can see some have got cavity backs obviously the lower down we go and then obviously higher we go up the irons, they turn into blades. Very nice. 
Grips are half decent. There's a different shaft there. I did not advertise that, but they're in decent condition. They're really, really rusty. If I can find a photo, I'll pop it up on screen if I can. But I gave them a really good clean and used a metal scrubber to get them all off, uh, get all the rust off. There's a little bit on there, but overall they've really, really come up nice and well. I don't know if you can see that, but six five pound for those, and the whole lot that I bought off it was about fifty pounds. So that's made money back there. Just about all those in. Okay, next to pick, we have got the Ping G10 5 wood this time. I didn't have a head cover for this, didn't come one, so I'll give it, I put a spare one on that I had. There it is, that's its partner in crime. I picked the 3 wood. Here's the 5 wood. A little bit knocked up, but uh, still got 34.99 for that, which is really, really good. You know, the shaft and the grip are good. Did advertise it with lots of chips and knocked. I said it was fair condition pop that up on the screen as well for you to see uh, but yeah that sold as well which is fab and uh, he messaged me and said thanks for accepting the offer so seems like a nice buyer hopefully he likes his item I'll send it with that head cover on uh, just hope it helps protecting uh, during the delivery uh, and that's all I've uh, got for uh, paid there's two who haven't paid just yet they've only just bought them in the last half an hour one is the Mizuno uh, Tezoid Blue Rage 5 wood which is here not the best condition really smooth grip probably will need replacing i did say that head cover is a bit tatty but once again does the job but the head and the face are actually in good good condition i don't know if you can see that but yeah uh, mizuna 5 wood tezoid blue rage decent club for a beginner i did put that on there as well oh drop the head cover um and i accepted the offer of 10 pound i had on 15 i just thought get rid of it um free up a bit of room and like I said didn't have that much interest so I'm glad to get rid of that, Put that in there as well. and the final lot is something that we've just sold and I was telling you a story about that ping bag uh, that I sold with the tailor-made driver which sold for you know nearly four times five times the amount of things uh, the amount I paid for it these irons came with them these are uh, Wilson matrix oversize irons now these are actually from three to sand wedge you got three four five six seven eight nine pitching wedge and sand wedge eight clubs here i didn't know how to price them because i've actually not uh, i couldn't find any online there was a few but they weren't that popular and i know wilson are a decent golf uh, golf mate my dad has a set of wilson irons in that red bag but they're not the most sought after irons so i was a bit <sighs> not too sure really so i put them on i think put them for a 65 maybe 64.99 and i accepted enough of 55 pounds and 7.99 postage just because i didn't know how much they were worth there wasn't that much interest in them but 55 pounds that's already that's also covered the bag that i paid i paid 20 pound and these irons i've sold have covered that well in fact they've doubled my money and that's before i include the driver and the wood so get all these i've got a lot here i might have to carry this in a separate bag so we've got the three four uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and bitch you wedge. If I can get these out, I don't want to come. Three, four, uh, missing a five, which is probably still hovering around. Where's the foot? Right in front of me. There we go. The five and bitch wedge. I'll carry those up individually because they won't fit in the bag. Don't want to ruin them or scratch them or damage the bags. I'll put those just there on this very nice uh, carpet, very old school carpet. Okay, so they're the things that I've got um, to go and pack. Uh, if you want me to do a packing video, let me know. Uh, I can always do one to show you how to pack the golf clubs. I might record myself doing it anyway. If you're interested, let me know. I can upload it after. Um, but I just thought it would be interesting. Uh, just the final part before I go, you can see the different things I've got now. This bag here with these clubs are mine, so these are something that I use and I'll be using tomorrow. I had a game yesterday, a round with a friend, I'm hopefully going to have another one tomorrow. The weather looks really good. Uh, since I'm not at work at the minute, uh, I am a teacher, so June the 1st we are going back in. I'll be looking after some key worker children in primary school, so... Therefore, I'm going to try and get as much golf in as I can, especially with the weather like this. Uh, quick story about a few of the things that I've bought, because I, you know, just to give you a bit of a, an idea of what brands to look for if you're interested in selling things like this, because you can make quite a lot of money just from these uh, golf clubs if you can 
find them really, really low, you can sell them for a high amount. So this big uh, bag here, this Yes bag, as you can see, decent bag, not bad condition, a couple of little rubs there, but a very, you know, out there bag that I know that some people like. I've got it on for around 80 to 90 at the minute online. I paid 20 for that, that'll go easy. It's a really heavy, fancy bag, and if not, one of my friends will use it or I'll use it because it is really quite fancy. I do like it. So I got that for 20. Here's another bag that I'll show you. You might have seen earlier. Titleist bag. Very good condition. I've actually had a couple of offers off uh, on this during this video. Uh, I've rejected them because there's three watches already. I've put it on today. I bought it today. I picked it up for £10 and it's in such good condition. It really is. So that's going to be at least a £60 uh, sale, if not 50 so five times the amount I paid for it, which is amazing. I also picked this up today. Pull that down there, I'll talk about that in a minute. A Moto Caddy bag, a very good brand to get. If you're interested in bags, look for the Moto Caddy. Very good brand for bags, but this is in great condition. This is a Club Series bag, as you can see. 40 pounds for that. A little bit on the expensive side, but it's got the strap, it's got the rain hood inside there as well. Uh, that would probably get around 60 after fees. So 20 pound profit there, not a massive amount, but it also came with this rain safe hood on it. It actually goes around it. And if it rains, you open it up and it's a bit like a coat. It's like a, a rain mac. It goes over the whole bag and the trolley as well. So it actually keeps all your bag uh, and your clubs dry. So that's gone online for about 20 pound at the minute. So I've listed that separately keep those together. i uh, got a nice Wilson, almost brand new bag here, Wilson staff bag. I've got a lot of interest on that at the minute. I keep rejecting offers, so the moment I send out a really low offer, it'll be snapped up 100%. Now these three Ram clubs, the driver of the three wood and the utility hybrid, actually came with these Ram X concept clubs these are really really nice clubs my friend's actually interested in buying these so i've not listed them on ebay i actually listed them then took them off because he, he really wants them or he's interested in them i'm gonna let him have a round with them see what he thinks but the grips are in fantastic condition they really are in great condition these a little bit of knocks but you're gonna get that but a whole ram set so we've got sand pitch uh nine eight seven six five four so four through to sand uh so i got those I got a bag, Callaway bag, that, uh, a Ram bag, sorry, that I actually sold with it. It was all Ram. So I got the Ram irons, the Ram bag, a Ram putter. I've sold the bag and the putter already for about £40 all in. And then I've got these three. I paid £15 for the lot. So already those two things I've sold, I've doubled money. My friend, I'm, you know, he said he'll offer me 100 for everything. I've sold a few things. I might just say take these for 50 if he wants. If he offers me something like that, I'll accept because he's a good friend and we play golf. If he's good with him. He says he, if he's rubbish with them, he'll get rid of them. But unfortunately, it's not the tools that you use, it's how good you play. But some people like to spend a lot of money in golf clubs. So, we've got a Ram iron set there. In this corner, we've got these wonderful, and I mean wonderful, King Cobra Carbon Seas. King Cobra, another good brand. King Co brands to look out for, King Cobra, Callaways, TaylorMade, and Ping. I'm missing any. I can't think of any at the minute. I'm sure there's going to be some more tight list as well. Another good brand. But yeah, King Cobra's very popular at the minute. Uh, I got this set, and this set is three f uh, through to Pitching Wedge. Uh, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Pitching Wedge. Got this for £40, including a bag, the Callaway bag. I sold the Callaway bag for £30. That was profit, so I'm only £10 off. These are online. I mean, there's not many uh, listed. I've not listed these yet. I'm going to have a round with these tomorrow. These are what I'm coming with me tomorrow to see what they're like, because I really do like them. The great grips on them as well, really good solid grips, great shafts. Around 150 for those. And that's that's what I mean, the golf clubs. If you get a good quality, good condition, good branded iron set of golf clubs, these are irons, you can really, really do well with them. 150 at least with those. Maybe a little bit less, but we'll see. Pick these up the other day. Callaway XR irons. Now, they are graphite shafts, which aren't as popular, but they're Flex A. Now, Flex A, I don't think you can see that, are senior or amateur shafts. Now, 
there's a lot of elderly people who are obviously going into retirement or currently wanting to play more to get out so they might actually sell really well and they are good brands now there is one shaft that's slightly different it's still a flex but it's different that'll bring the price down but these clubs a couple of little knocks these callaway xrs are really popular these are going for close to 200 so i might just get 150. i'm going to put brand new grips on them myself i've ordered some new grips they'll be coming uh and hopefully i'll get about 150 for these but these will be relisted i don't want f uh graphite shafts and for me i prefer steel shafts uh and like i said these are seniors so they're not my cup of tea but callaway as i said great brand to look out for ping titleist king cobra i actually have my set i can grab one tailor made these are my clubs these are going for around 150 online i got these for 40. um but I had a game with them yesterday and I did really well, so I'm going to keep these. These are my lucky charms, and they've got weights in there as well. But yes, TaylorMade, King Cobra, uh, Callaway, Ping, Titleist are really good brands to look out for in terms of golf clubs. And in terms of bags, Motor Caddy, any of those brand names I've just said. Wilson Staff bags are pretty good. Obviously, that's a really out there bag. Uh, but yeah, Motor Caddy is definitely leading the way on bags, in my opinion. And you'll be able to see that I'm not just making that up because my bag is actually a motor caddy bag itself. I got this for a char in a charity shop for £5. Zip's broken but it, it does its job. Okay so I'm going to take these things upstairs and get them wrapped. Like I said I will record them uh, being wrapped. If, you, if you're interested in seeing that let me know in the comment section below and I don't mind putting it on there because I know sometimes golf clubs can be a bit of a pain to wrap up and I'll just I'll quickly show you how I do it. It's really straightforward and really safe. But, you know, every time you send things with Hermes, you do take that risk, especially golf clubs, more expensive. So make sure you get it insured. Make sure you get it tracked. It just saves a whole heap of argument, and it's proof if you need to claim. That fly is really buzzing around somewhere. But, yeah, so that's what I've got for sale so far. I've got four, uh, yeah, four, three different iron sets now. Now I've got rid of that Wilson set. Uh, I've got a bag, bag, a couple of individual clubs, that's not part of it, that's my club. I've got a brand new umbrella there, a couple of little things here, um, and obviously a bag myself. This trolley is going to my friend, so that's going separately. That's my golf trolley there, um, electric golf trolley that I managed to get. Uh, it works out after I've sold the things that I bought with it, it works out to £10, which is amazing, because these electric golf trolleys, once again, can't see that, but motor caddy. That's the brand that I was talking about. The bags, motor caddy trolleys are very good, especially electrical ones, battery powered. If you get the battery powered, it's lithium batteries, they are worth so much money. So if you do see one of those quite cheap for less than 100, pick it up. This came as part of a deal. I got this, the two pin clubs that I've sold, I've showed you earlier on, and a power caddy bag. I've sold a bag for 50 pounds, sold those two clubs for just shy of 40 each. So I'm in the hole about 10, 15 pounds, but that works out that this amazing really expensive uh, piece of kit the electric cart works out to about 15 20 pounds which i'll pay that all day long because these are going for 150 online golf clubs are worth a lot of money if you can get them at a great price uh, and carry on reselling if you're interested in getting into that game if you have any questions let me know i can do my best to answer them but take care guys look after yourself stay safe in this current crisis and i'll talk to you again soon anonymous reseller out